Because it is black on white, um, this would indicate a trade wear from the Pueblo area uh, coming into the Hurricom. Um, typically, you will find this type of pottery just on the other side of the mountains over there in the San Pedro Valley, but that's really kind of getting outside of Hoacom territory. You know, this is kind of the, the southeastern boundary of the Hoacom area. So this may indicate relations with people over there, or if they had very good relations, it may indicate intermarriage, and they were bringing women over you know, into this area, and they were making pottery in the way they knew how in this area uh, with, with closed air environment finding. So that, that's kind of an unusual piece for Los Materials. And you can see it's painted on the inside, close to the rim, has a painted line along the rim. It's also painted on the outside. Uh -huh. So this is one of those pieces that dates after 1150, type called Tanka Verde right on the front, bowl shape. So for some reason, you know, starting right around 1150, uh, the design focus on bowls shifted from the interior being the focus of the design to the outside being the focus of the design. And when that shift occurred, they still painted part of the inside, but only around the rim. They didn't paint all the way down into the bottom anymore. Uh, there's been some speculation about why that happened, and the best uh, interpretation that I've ever heard was by archaeologist Barbara Mills here at the University of Arizona. She's done a lot of work up in the Pueblo area in northeastern Arizona and northwestern New Mexico. And she published an article a couple of years ago that observed that Around 1150, in that northern part of the southwest, you get this same shift from an interior design focus to an exterior design focus on the bowls. And she noticed that up there, that's also the time when you get a shift in community type where people start building compact pueblos that have designated plaza areas, which could have been used for group rituals. So she speculated that the reason for this design shift is because some of the designs in the pottery had something to do with the religious ideas of people and they were done for display during these public rituals. And if you're getting people together in a plaza, you know, if you just have a small group, you know, doing small rituals here and there, an interior design with your religious imagery is okay. You can kind of see it because you have individual people looking at it. But when you have large groups in a large plaza situation like this, the, the only real way to display that is if you have the designs on the outside. Because if the interiors are filled with food and they're setting over there at a distance, you can't see the inside. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think she's really on to something that a lot of this may have something to do with the religious imagery or at least the group identity of the people, you know, these designs.